what? You think the hair dryers is unnecessary use on my non-existing hair? Then you should take a look at the car I've parked outside with two hair dryers mounted between the cylinder banks to reduce gas travel exhaust. And then we can come back here to see if this is unnecessary use. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days I felt your heart beat, felt your mouth Once again I find myself in the trunk of a Panamera, this time in a Panamera Turbo with 550 horsepower that you absolutely need as a family father. What for lunch? I don't know, let me take a look in the fridge. Not good ladies and gentlemen. Last time I was in the trunk, it was in the Panamera Sport Turismo, and then I explained to you guys my journey from a 911 to the Panameras and the Cayennes. The great about this car is that I actually fit into the trunk, because in the trunk of a 911 I don't fit. And the way I thought before I became a father are pretty much the same as Nick Murray. And, um, He's a great YouTuber that actually inspired me to start this channel, so I will put a link below for you guys to check him out and the thoughts I had before I became a father. Then obviously you had the prestige of driving the Panamera Turbo. And uh, I guess that outside the Nordic countries that might be considered as a luxury or even, you know, status to drive a turbo. Uh, I don't think that that is the case in Scandinavia. I think yeah, people would would meet you with more questions than uh, envy, to be honest. And it would not be a measure of success. So uh, I rather look at the Porsche Panamera 4S Hybrid. I think that is a car that that is um, on a sweet spot for the Nordic market, regardless if if you are into a sports car or a family car. It is in no doubt that the Panamera Turbo is an impressive vehicle. Experiencing GT3 performance, not only acceleration taken under consideration from a position in a chest field sofa, and the comfort is way beyond expectation and the extra everything creates a touch and feel that makes the luxury car segment to stretch even more. Would I uh, trade in my uh, Porsche Cayenne diesel for this uh, Panamera Turbo? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't. I must confess, I would not. There are several reasons for that actions. Uh, one of them being that, well, um, I don't like
And I think the uh, Panamera 4 Hybrid is uh, a more car of its time. Um, this feels a bit like um, I have not come as far as I should in my development as a human being. I'm not sure if I need 550 horsepower to drive my kids to school, drive myself to work and go on vacation with my family. It's a good question though, because as soon as you just kick the throttle, you kind of rewind and reevaluate your, your, your opinion again and again and again and again. Because when you put that throttle down, you know, things happen that uh, just makes you laugh. And it puts a big smile on your face. But then again, if, if this car was equipped with an electric engine, I most likely would do the same. So, uh, on that bombshell, as I think Mr. Clarkson says, I'm curious of the Emission E cars. That's a car I am eager to buy. Uh, because I think that will be the perfect car for, for, a, for a driver's man or woman. I'm in the car with my son and he's totally sold out on the Bose stereo in this car. Even though I think it's pretty much the same quality as the one we have in our Cayenne. But I don't have to... And whatever you do, do not argue with your son or daughter when it comes to music. Just follow. I hope you liked the video. If you didn't, perhaps you liked my dog. Actually, it's my wife's dog. Either way, if you liked me or the dog, please subscribe.